You got two things of shotgun shells, so you're going to pick up one, then you hit it again and pick up the second one. Is that going to go to 77? Oh. 23. They come in units of 7. Ah. So it's good for you anyway. <laughs> Alright. So. And now you can go ahead and equip your flamethrower. Then you can leave this room. Okay. So go back the way I came? Yep. Well, you can go through the door. Like you're on the other side. That door that said was locked, you're on the other side of that door now. You can just leave through that door. Or you can crawl through like the creepy hole with like plant. Where's the door? Uh, other camera angle. Right there. Ah. So I can just walk my way out. Yep. Is there anything else waiting for me? Not outside that door yet. So it goes back in the red. Yeah, no, we're back in that red hallway now. All right, so now you want to open up like the big shutter door that's like over um, back towards where you came at. Big shutter door. Still in the red hallway? Yeah, still in the red hallway. It's like at the end of this hall. Like straight ahead of where you are now. There you go. That switch on the wall. Why do those liquors lock that door? Do they just want some privacy? They were, you know, one liquor, another liquor alone, quiet room. Huh. What, what, what can, if you had a really long tongue, what could you do with it? I don't think I want to speculate. <laughs> also, let you know, in the remake, like, liquors have, like, defined assholes. Like, you can, like, look at their character models and they, like, they totally have, like, an asshole. Ew. Okay. So, click on it. When I open that door, uh huh. Is there something scary on the other side? Define scary. Are you scared of plants? So flamethrower, flamethrower it is. I mean, the, the flamethrower is like designed specifically to kill these, to kill plants. And there may be some plants you want to kill on the other side of that door. Just imagine that they're poison ivy. In fact, they're called ivy. No! They're, they're called ivy. That actually is like their like character like monster name is ivy. Hmm. But wouldn't destroying poison ivy be rather cathartic for you? <laughs> That's true. I did kind of run across some in the yard over the last week or so. It was not fun. So, like, if you ever come back here as Claire, they'll, they will be poison ivy then because they'll be, like, they'll, they'll turn red and, like, they'll be poisonous, which is what those blue herbs back in that room were for. Do they have leaves of three? They do! <laughs> They're on, like, their mouth holes there. She comes on like a rose. Uh, yeah, one of them, I think they're, oh, yeah. So that noise means they're dead. Let me stop. But everybody knows Poison Ivy So you're gonna go through that door? With extreme prejudice. Okay. So we will is there something is he looking at the sign? He's looking at the dead things on the ground. Yeah, oh. he's looking at the evil plant monsters that would otherwise have given him a nasty rash and would cause him agony for like two or three weeks. Damn those things. I I definitely, I used some brush killer on them today, so hopefully that got rid of it. But <laughs> Okay. That's what you have to do in the remake, is you have to like actually like make an herbicide to like kill them. And they're in the remake they're a lot worse, because instead of like looking like just kind of vaguely plant pods like those things were. They're basically like skeletal zombies that have like plants overgrown into them. <laughs> they kill you in one hit if they touch you. Um, and the way that they work is like regenerators where like they have like little pods on them and you have to shoot the pods. Like if you ah. just shoot them like the head of the body, it doesn't That's do evil. anything. Yeah, no, they're a lot worse in the remake. Like, and like they'll just like eat your face. Like they're like they have like these like skull faces that like split open like this and like eat your head if you get close to them. So Yikes. they're like the guys from Stranger Things. Kind of like that. Well, they look actually more like that guy right now. Like in this, their heads look. Their heads now look in this game look more like the thing from Stranger Things, not like the demi gorgon or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh. But like now, these are more like imagine like a skeleton that has like ivy growing around it and uh. eats by like splitting its head open. 
So do I still want the flamethrower? Yeah, you go through that door. There's one more on the other side of that door. But, like, if you walk through the door and pull up your flamethrower, it will burn before you... It has time to realize it's on fire. Okay. back in the room you came from and there's now two more plants in here but once you kill them like you've killed all the plants in the game so I go so there'll be two more yeah just I... go back in this room those, they're gonna, those two that you kill will respawn but they're in slightly different positions but basically just you gotta get kind of close the flamethrower does not have very good range so you gotta get a little close to them um, and they're gonna spit stuff at you but um, just get near them and just burn them you gotta get relatively close. That's like you're, that. you're too far away. You gotta get basically where the door is. There you go. You got him a little bit there. You're too close to the wall. Yeah, you're hitting the wall instead of him. Are you out? I think so. Oh, you're out of flamethrower ammo. Okay, just switch the shotgun then and just kill him the old fashioned way. Alright, he's dead. There we go. They get the other one? Yes. He's dead. No, it's just like that noise is him like falling to the ground. Okay. Well, at least they're dead. <laughs> that shotgun has quite a kick. Leon really reels back when he fires it. It's a really powerful gun. Okay. So, yeah. menu. Need to reload. Yeah. Alright, there's a bunch of herbs like through the door that you're we're heading towards. So now go back the other way, because now these guys are dead. So back towards the... No, back towards the door you just... Like, the one we just walked through. So just turn back around where we came. Just, this one? I brought you back here just to kill these guys real quick while you had the flamethrower. Yep, so just go... That's the way you want to go still. Okay. It's just like, if you have a flamethrower, you might as well kill those guys now. Like, they have a little jump scare. Like, if you don't kill them with the flamethrower and you walk over them, they'll whip you, which doesn't really do any damage, but it's like a little tiny jump scare. Okay. So and there's two herbs right there. Good, because I think I took and some damage. A giant plant next to you that is spawning these things, but technically it's not going to spawn anymore. It's just a like plot. Lore wise, that's where they came from. Okay. Do I want to combine them? Yeah, let's go ahead and combine them and eat them. And then go down the ladder. Yeah, go down the ladder. Are the herbs made from those plants? I think one of the herbs probably got turned into that plant, but okay. like war wise that's never actually addressed like that's plant 43 which is like in Resident Evil 1 there's a plant called plant 42 which is named it because it was like derived at point 42 in the mansion and then they just called this one 43 because it was like the next one <laughs> um, so uh, is there anything scary at the bottom of this line nah, I mean there's more giant evil plant but it doesn't do anything else different it just kind of waggles its tentacles at you. It, it just looks worse. It, it looks scarier than it actually yeah. is. Okay, so what's beyond this door? Um, a hallway that goes to a security room. Any monsters? You'll see. <laughs> the zombies. No, there's no zombies in there. Lickers? Shh. What should I say? <laughs> Crap. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing for it. You gotta walk for weird. They're, they're like a. Like, this room's like a weird U, J type shape. So you gotta, you gotta keep walking. Just walk slowly, though. You'll see them before they see you. Keep going. Which they're, way is he? They're not gonna. There's only one way to go. There's, you can only go left around that corner. But he's a ways away. 
This way? Yep. Like he's in that room down there. With the herb? Yep. Ah! Right there. <laughs> Alright, now there are two more in that big room. Okay. I just kind of walk slowly yeah. and again, let them come to you. Yeah. Gonna reload first. Yeah, go ahead. Always. Yeah. 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 Okay. Alright, you, you gotta go out there, otherwise it's gonna, this is gonna take like 40 minutes for them to come to you. Keep going. Are they gonna jump scare me? No. That, that's, that one's the one that jump scares you. The other two are just on the ground in here. Like this way? Yeah, but you're too far away. Like, you gotta get, I can't tell you where exactly they're at. Like, they're, they're walking around doing stuff now. Okay, they're all the way down that fucking hallway over there. So you can go ahead and pick up all these herbs, and maybe they'll wobble their way back over to you. There's like three herbs on the ground. You're not going to shoot them with a shotgun at this point and do meaningful damage. Just go get those herbs. Like, this this is going to take, like, a while. Like, they're not even coming towards you. They're going back down the hallway. Yeah, there's one more closer to the camera that you can't see in this position. Yeah. They're not like the dogs that covet those herbs. Yeah. So I guess I want to combine them? Uh, you can actually hold on because you're, you're really close to like an item box and there's like a red herb like in the room. Like in your immediate future there's a red herb shortly. So now go over there and kill those guys. You want to get through like the hallway they're waddling around. Alright, they're dead. Good job. Okay. Did that computer do anything? Uh, that is your ultimate way out of here. But it does, uh, it's not going to open yet. You got to finish. You, you, you can look at it, because we'll give you a hint about what you need to open that door. Okay. Disk slot monitor says, insert a verification MO disk to open the gate. Hmm. Right, reload your shotgun now. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 Alright, now you can. That, there's nothing now, it's now until you get past like, the next couple of layers. Okay. So, this is this area, now that the things are dead, is essentially safe. I didn't say that. But it sure seems that way. But you're fine to get to that door. There's what, like four lookers in this room, right? We killed yeah, you killed them all. Go ahead, go through the door. I don't <laughs> It's fine. You're worried about this too much. Just go through that, that, through that door with a nice save room, and you can even get a map and save your game. It's great in there. It's shaped like a three quarters of a stop sign. So keep running around. This is a big, like, semicircle thing you gotta run around. There's nothing in here. Okay. This is a save room. It just doesn't have save room music playing. Sure, it's a save room? Yeah, I trust me. I know everything about this game. And that blue monitor has like a map on it. So I want to go through that door? No, there's a save like point. Like keep keep going. There you go. There's a box and a typewriter. Okay. Go ahead and put your empty flamethrower in the box. Yeah, because that's kind of useless now. Yeah, you know, you never need to pick that up. Again. Yeah. 
And you can probably put like your first aid spray and like two of the herbs in there. And you want to pull out the weapon box key. Okay. And your magnum. Probably want the uh, magnum bullets. You do not need the magnum bullets, just the magnum. Okay. Alright. Then I'll probably want to save. Yeah. Oh, wait, you didn't need Craven. Yes, I will use the increment. 